All right, hello, my name is John Sveck. Uh, welcome to this All 24 video. Uh, so I'm here with Coach Waterman, um, and we have a guest coach, Scott Ledoux, with us. Um, we're going to try an installment of our What Would You Call series. Uh, so the way this was set up is uh, we've uh, created a Facebook group uh, where we're having some great conversations in there. It's, it's full of a lot of Canadian football coaches from all across the country. Um, I'll put a link to the Facebook group on the website if you'd want to join. It's an open group, uh, so we'd love to have you. What we did was we just posed a question to the group. We gave a situation, a football situation, and we said, uh, what would you call, right? So uh, what play call would you make in this situation and why? And then we said we were just going to choose one of them and, and get one of the coaches on here to, uh, to break things down. So that's what we've done. We have Coach Ledoux here. Um, first, Coach, before we start, could, could I get you to introduce yourself and just give a little bit of your uh, coaching bio? Um, yep. Um, my name is Scott Ledoux. I'm the head football coach at uh, Chestermere High School for the Lakers. Um, I've been at Chestermere for the last, I believe this is my fourth season. My third is the head coach. Um, prior to being here, I was uh, I played at University of Alberta, um, and then I I did some coaching. Uh, I was one season with the Harry and Lee Titans, um, and then I did a spring with uh, Strathcona Lords. Um, and then I got the job down here in Chestermere. So I've been here ever since, and it's been uh, going great. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, great. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's get right into it. I'm going to set up the situation. So on this edition of uh, what would you call, um, we said you were on the, the plus 25-yard line, so you're going into the scoring area there on the plus 25. It's second and seven. The ball's on the left hash. Uh, your team is down by six with a minute 50 on the clock in the fourth and you have no timeouts. Uh, so this is the play call uh, that coach drew up here. So uh, maybe quickly coach, we'll have you uh, introduce the play a little bit and just kind of talk us through it. Sure, um, so this, uh, we're gonna call this stick screen, I think going forward. So basically what we have is to the field, to the three man side, we have a stick concept where we have the inst or the, the middle receiver, the, the Y slot um, in our offense, he's running basically a stick route and his job, his only mission in life is to basically make the guy who would be leaving with uh, the H, the inside slot, um, make his defender go over the top. So essentially he's running his hook or his stick uh, basically as a screen. Um, this being Canadian football, our focus, uh, we get a chance to play with our wag a little bit. So um, it's not super well drawn in the in the diagram but they're basically going to get hip to hip on this exchange so the the y is going to find the linebacker the or the, the, the dime or whoever it is that's going to be covering the inside slot and he's going to just basically sit down in, in his hook on that guy's path um his again his whole goal is to make that guy go over the top if he lets him get underneath and we throw this arrow it could be going the other way for a long like we're on the plus 25 or whatever like this could be going a long ways to the other end zone so we got to make sure that guy running his hook is is uh doing a really good job of with his spacing um the arrow he's going to reduce his split maybe he's going to try to make it look like he's going to pin the end man on the line of scrimmage and then right at the snap he's just releasing on an arrow getting underneath that hook um the big thing here with our our two wide receivers and our slot on the backside. You know, I don't have it drawn very well with the slot, but they've got to do a good job of turning their defender's hips, especially if we have man driving everybody out of there um, so that we can get, we can get uh, hips turned and, and running away from, from the arrow. Um, in the past, our H has been kind of a bigger body possession type receiver, but we're looking to maybe have a bit more of a burner in that position this year. So our hope is if we get man, we're going to work that man side. We're going to hit that arrow right now. Just basically catch the, the quarterback's going to catch the ball. He's going to get a little punch step to get where he needs to be. And he's going to get it out on that arrow right now. Um, obviously second and seven, we would love to get the first down. Um, and with the limited time, we'd love to get out of bounds. But if we can get this in a burner's hands and we've got hips turned, clears out a little bit for him we may have a chance to really get a big gainer here um, if we don't we can get ourselves into a third and short perspective or sh third and short uh, situation sorry um, we're okay with that as well uh, especially you know being the Canadian game we're going to get a snap when it's at zeros anyways it's a minute 50 on the clock I think is what the, the time was so we've got plenty of time um, if our quarterback reads 
zone or if that read on the arrow route is muddy in any way, all our quarterback is going to do is he's just going to drip, drift back for depth, try to bring the D-line to him, and then he's going to find the, find the running back in the hole on a screen on the weak side of the field. Um, so you know, our, our two best players last year were grade 10 running backs, or two of our best players, sorry, were grade 10 running backs. So we've got a lot of faith in those guys if we catch this on a screen to, to go get us the yards we need as well. Good. Awesome. I really, uh, I, you know, one of the things that uh, I loved, uh, uh, you know, depending on which side of the ball you talk about, is it a, a screen or is it a pick or is it a rub or a pick? I, I, all defensive coordinators are going to be yelling at yeah, you, yeah. you know, pick, you're picking our guys. So uh, no, it's a rub coach. It's a rub. So it all depends on your perspective. Right. But no, it's a great, uh, great uh, concept in terms of you get man, you get a nice little rub there and maybe get a chance to get some yak yards off of that. Uh, and, and, uh, I like the, the term you used muddy. Uh, I've seen teams use cloudy. Uh, if you get something muddy or cloudy, uh, definitely it gives the quarterback something to sort of, you know, okay, I understand what I'm, I, I don't like it. And now he's got another option in that play. So I thought that was a, a you know, a real neat, uh, neat concept there. Coach. It, is this something you've, you've run before, or is this a new play you're working on, or is this something you've, uh, you've tried before? Well, I've, so I, I picked up the three-man side. I ran, I've run the three-man side without the screen action on the backside. In the past, I've had um, the backside just running hooks and then the, the, the back running an arrow. Like, again, just kind of two deeper hooks and an arrow at the backside. Um, what I like about doing it this way is if we are unsure about that put the, the, the three-man side at all this is just a little bit cleaner I think to get it to the back instead of like I'm looking here then I got to flip my hips and look there and is he too far outside this this just timing wise I think works out a little bit better one thing we may do um, just to give the quarterback a bit better of a read um, you know you guys have to deal with you, you, you deal with the skies coverages a little bit more at the high or at the university level like if we were if we line up trips to the field or sort of to the boundary and then run this guy who's going to be running the arrow on like a jet motion or an arc motion, we're going to get a pretty good pre-snap read at our level with what we're going to be looking at. So if we, if we see them trail or uh, sort of follow or, or, you know, rotate the safety down and the half back up or something like that, then that's telling my quarterback right now, it's probably going to be man. And it gives him a better idea as to where he's going um, post-snap. With a, with a good little pre-snap indicator. Um, but yeah, I haven't run it in this form yet, um, but I have run it uh, with just a true sort of quick game progression uh, in the past. That's great. No, very, very well described. I think it's a solid play. Why do you like it on the, on the second and seven specifically? And you kind of talked about that, you know, even if you don't quite get the first, you have another shot at it, but um, is that your favorite situation to use this? Would you use it on first down? Or, or what are your thoughts on this play as a play caller? Uh, I think I would use it on first down as well. I think in the past as a play caller, I've gotten into some trouble where it's second and long. I'm going to try to air it out and get it all at once. Um, I think trying to be just a little bit more disciplined in knowing, hey, there's a little bit of time on the clock. We need to score on this drive anyways. We don't have to get it all at once. Like It's a good situation to try to – chunk it a little bit with the chance like I say if you can get it in this guy's the arrows hands on 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 time on target with open space like this can turn into a it, it could score right now too right like if you have that's one of your playmakers in that spot it works pretty well excellent yeah coach Waterman anything else to add on that play no I as, as, uh, I think you uh, hit the nail on the head in terms of uh, I'm really interested uh, love to hear feedback uh, as we get going again and you use this play how it's actually uh, how, how it's working out for you and and uh, if you would you know perhaps adjust things uh, uh, later on and what you've learned from it so uh, like uh, where you're going with this like what you're thinking I'd love to hear some feedback uh, uh, down the road when you get this going for sure. And thanks again, guys, for starting that Facebook group. I'm in a few groups like that, but this Canadian version of it has been pretty cool. There's some coaches I know that are in there. It seems like it's growing. Um, it's really nice to have a place to kind of bounce some ideas off the wall. Yeah, we're really enjoying it. Just talking football while we're all kind of locked inside. So 
Um, again, if you're watching this, feel free to join us. I'll, I'll put a link to the Facebook group on the site. But uh, yeah, this has been a great edition of, of What Would You Call? And, and we thank you for being with us, Coach. Yeah, thanks, guys.